A quarter of a million pounds. 22 identical sealed boxes and no questions, except one. Deal or no deal? Big winners. We've had a number of small winners, but there's only one number that you have to focus on, and that's 22. We have 22 identical boxes. We've got 22 different sums of money on the game board, ranging from 1p through to 250,000 pounds. And here we have 22 players, all of whom are hoping that today is their lucky day and they have the chance to try and beat the banker. And the only way they're going to go away with a significant sum of money is if they keep their nerve, that their timing is impeccable, and they can win the psychological battle with the banker. Good luck to you all. Let's now find out who today is going to play Deal or No Deal. So, could it be a fortune for... Becky! Yeah! Bring that lovely big smile over here, Becky. Hello! Hello! It's a long walk, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> but your time has come. It has. So who's been looking after the kids? Um, they stayed with my mum for a while, and then my husband was with me for a while, but he's gone back now and he's got them. So that's Graham? Yes. And you've got Francesca, who's six, and Lewis, who's four? I have. Who are watching mum at this moment, hoping <laughs> that mum can really pull off something special. Yes, and I did say I would blow them both a kiss, because they've done nothing but kiss the telly since they've seen me on, so... One each. <laughs> excellent, excellent. You're from Nuneaton in Warwickshire, I primary school did. teacher. Yes. Do you have a set? Amount of money that you would love to take back to Nuneaton? Well, I have, I have a dream, so yeah, I do have a set amount of money I'd like. Obviously, you're not going to say it. No, I'll keep that to myself for a while. Would you put it in the book? We I'll haven't done this down, for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I'll write it down in your book now. Okay. Nice so we won't, we won't say anything now because obviously we don't want the banker to, uh, to know where your aspirations, where your dreams lie. But this is very simple, isn't it? All I have to do now is ask you, did you select the box at random? I did indeed. It was sealed by the independent adjudicator, who is the only person associated with this show who actually knows which amount of money is in which box. Remember, the banker is the only person in this studio who does not want you to be seriously successful. He wants to wipe that lovely smile off your face. He wants you to go away with just one pence. I'm not going to. After five boxes, you will get your first offer from the banker. If you play it really well at the opening, if you keep it left, keep it low, you will get yourself a very nice, tempting offer. Could I have the first of your five selection? Oh, my gosh. Number five, please, the lovely Elaine on the end there. Box number five. Elaine, let's start the game with your box, please. And, of course, we want it to be low. Open box number five. Good luck, Becky. Two hundred and fifty pounds. Two hundred and fifty pounds. Great opener. Great opener. It's gone off the board. It's off the board, and it's definitely not in that box. I'm going to go for the other end. I'm going to go for Lee, number thirteen. Lee, she's pecking off the ends of the wings. Lee, box thirteen. Let's have a dynamic start for Becky. Good luck. Fifty yeah! pounds. <laughs> oh yes. Oh no. <laughs> um, 
I'm going to go for number 10, and she's shaking her head at me, but I'm going to go for it anyway. OK. Yeah. You're definitely doing it. Yeah, number 10. Oh, why, why are you shaking your head? Because I had a pound in here last time. So, but maybe I'll, I hope I'll get another blue for you, Becky. Joe, keep it low. Open it. Five thousand. Yeah. <laughs> is that good? <laughs> I'm going to go for number three, James. Number three? Yeah. James. No one. Would you please open number three? This is a fabulous start. Keep it that way. Open three. Fifteen thousand. Okay. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Still all right. Yeah, I'm fine. Yes. Oh God. Your fifth box is vital because we get the phone call from the banker at this point. Um. I'm going to go for Tina because she's got box number seven. So I'm going to go for Tina. Tina, seven is uh, one of your lucky numbers mm. that never is lucky. That never is lucky. Yeah. Okay. Would you please open? Box number seven. Let's do that. Yeah! <laughs> well, what a fabulous that was a start. Good start. Great start. Great start. That was a good start. You've kept the big money block intact. Mm -hmm. That's the key thing. How do you think Francesca and Lewis are reacting now? Are they still kissing the television? They, they probably are, yeah. They'll think so, this come is on, fantastic. Mummy. Come yeah. on, mummy. Well, Looking at that and the fact that you have kept a block of six big numbers, mm -hmm. this could be an above average offer from the banker, I would think. Above average. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Tends to be round about the 3,000 yeah. mark yeah. if you've had a confident start. Good afternoon. Yes, it should be. I said it could be above mm. average. £4,100. Not bad. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Mm. That is a lot of money. £4,100 as an opening offer. It can very quickly twist and run away from you. I know. I've seen it a lot of times now over the last few weeks. Yep. But I know what I'm going to do. Well, you're very close, Noel. My mum would be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Becky, £4,100, deal or no deal? No deal. Do something different. Do something special. Let's see if we can get the next three to avoid this area totally. I'm going to go for number 20, Hayley. Number 20, Hayley. Furrowed brow. Mm. You're having a bad, bad vibe there. Well, I've had five low ones, nothing above 5,000. You must be due something huge. Yeah. It's up to you back. Oh, a good gambler never changes his bet, so okay. no, I'll stick to number 20. Open box 20. Good luck, Beck. Tim! Yeah. 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 It's better and better. Yeah. We have not had a beginning like this for a very long time. This is amazing. I'm going to go for the lovely Rob over there, Rob. number 11. Nice and low, Rob. Nice Feet. and low. 50,000. Your first hit on the big money block. <laughs> still good. Yeah. Still good. They're saying it's still good. 75, 100, quarter of a million, still there. Where are you going? Um, I'm going to go for Helen number 21. 21? Yes. Helen, open the box. Oh, a 
minutes ago. That felt uncomfortable, but it's fine. Absolutely fine. And Jessica and Lewis are sending you some seriously positive vibes at the moment. They are. Willing Mummy to do something spectacular, and you are on course. Yeah, well, this is a fantastic way to start the week. Well, it they're, really, They're really... always happy with 50 pence, so, you know, yeah, <laughs> that looks a lot to them. How, so. old, how old are they? Six and four. Yeah. So 50p, that's a, that's a lot of money to them. Yeah. Mm, that's 25p each. That's, you know, <laughs> that's big money. <laughs> and so they're sitting watching you at this moment in Nuneaton. Mm. And their pocket money is 25p each. Well, every time I go to the shop, yeah, which is, you know, a couple of times a day. So, <laughs> yeah. Francesca, Lewis. Ask for more pocket money. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about him. What? I forgot. Follow the game, girl, for <laughs> goodness <laughs> sake. I forgot he was phoning. If I was the banker, I'd really be frightened of you. <laughs> we've he had wants gamblers, to be. we've had ace players, we've had fatalists, and now we've got. Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> what do you make of this player? This is the second highest offer that has ever been made so early in the game. Think about this mm -hmm. throughout the break. Oh. <laughs> I will. Welcome back to Deal or No Deal, or we could uh, retitle it Becky's Brilliant Bonanza. She's had an incredible start. She's in the all-powerful position. The 75,000, 100,000, and 250,000 are still there on the edge of the second offer. What was the first offer you turned down? 4,100. 4,100. And you mentioned to me that your, your little place over there looks very empty without you, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's very lonely. It does yeah. look lonely. Yeah. <laughs> He's now doubled it. Eight thousand two hundred pounds. Oh gosh. What do you think, Andy? You've got five that are not only bigger than that, but much bigger than that. Six in fact, but five that are a lot bigger. It's one of the highest offers he's ever made at this stage. He could go higher than that. And he knows it. Mm. 8,200 at this stage is a huge amount of money. Bearing in mind, your box, number one, could have one P in mm. it. I don't want to be the player that goes home with the penny. Nobody has gone away with one pence. The children would argue over that because I can't split that. That would cause a that would cause a riot. Becky, a number of people have gone away mm. with significantly less than oh, eight thousand two hundred pounds. Admittedly, they weren't in quite the strong position you are. Mm -hmm but a couple of them were very, very close to it. They were. And they went away Goodness. with a very small amount of money. <laughs> 8,200 pounds. Becky, deal or no deal? Could I ask my friend who's sitting behind me? Absolutely. Hello. Hello. Who are you? Nina. Nina. Yes. No deal. Think of your dream. Think, think bigger. What a huge difference. No deal. No deal. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Nina. Has it helped? It has, yeah. You can ask me again now, Noel. <laughs> no. 
8,200 pounds. <laughs> deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> Good advice. Good advice. Fantastic. This is just wonderful. OK. Yes. Three to the banker. What's your first? I'm going to go for the lovely Audrey, number 15. Audrey. Make her blue in the nicest possible way. And open box 15. Yes! yes! <laughs> God. And she breathes a sigh of relief as well. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, boy, this is fantastic. Um... Come on, Becky. What's it to be? I'm going to go for Karen, number nine. Karen? OK, Karen. Just do it. Do it. Good, Good luck, darling. 20,000! <laughs> OK. That's fine. Andy, Andy says that's right. fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. OK. Go on, then, John. I'm going to go with you, number four. Yeah? Yeah, straight to it, John. Straight to it. Go on. Yeah! Yeah! Five thousand in here, yes, and he it. has no way of knowing. I wish I did. <laughs> you don't need to worry about a thing. You can sit God, there and it. just keep smiling. This is almost certainly the strongest game we've ever had. He doubled it last time. Could triple it this time. I hope you're ready for this, Nina. The strongest gameplay we have ever had kicks off our week. This is amazing. Hello. First offer was the second highest offer he's made to open the game. The second offer was also the second highest offer at that stage in the game. But we are in new territory. We've never been here, and you've taken us here, Becky, and this is the highest offer, the highest offer he has ever made at this point. For that box, he is now offering you £24,000. Wow. That's big, real money. It's money that could be in your bank account tomorrow. Mm hmm It's money that you now, I would say, have to put into the context mm -hmm. of the game board. And I can feel a Nina moment coming on. I can. Yeah, I can feel one too. If it was me, I'd carry on. But it's not me, and it's £24,000. If you think that 24000 can make that difference to your future, go for it. But the board is looking good, Becky. You were able to stay away from 75,000, 100,000, and a quarter of a million. You would not only be creating deal or no deal history, because we've never ever been here, but you will put yourself in an astonishingly powerful position. But 24,000. Is a lot of money. It's, I'll share. It's beyond my expectation. Becky from Nuneaton could be on to six figures. 
No one's ever given me £24,000 before, and I doubt they ever will again. Becky, I'll give you a bit more space this time. <laughs> it is, you're making my mum jealous, I told you. <laughs> Becky, this is so serious. Becky, at £24,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. Yeah! <laughs> I'm going to regret this. There you are. There you are. Something about this game, you will not regret this. Let's see if, astonishingly, you can keep going and not hit the two big numbers. I'm going to go for number 17, Jeff. 17, Jeff, no pressure. Yeah, no pressure, Jeff. Good luck, Becky. I hope it works for you. Really do. Open 17. 10,000! Yeah. Fine. Fine. Absolutely fine. You now know you cannot decimate the biggest numbers. You've only got two to go, and there are three big numbers. Great result. Next one. Number 16, my son's birthday. Number 16. Fingers crossed. Sarah, open the box. Oh, yeah! <laughs> we are that far away from the biggest deal that we have ever, ever seen. If you could just keep this up and miss all three, this is going to be incredible. One box to the next banker's offer. What's it to be? Andy, number 14. Andy. Please, Andy. You've chosen the right guy to take the pressure. He's good at taking the pressure, and he's nodding, which suggests he is going to give you exactly the box that you need. OK. In the last four games, I've had the quarter and I've had the hundred. Not got it again. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> now I'm nervous. <laughs> no, no, don't be. What do we think the odds are, Jeff? I think the, odd, the odds are good, but there's always a chance it's in there. and I. At this point of the game, my nerves are on edge, and I, I really want you to get this, but I always get bad feelings at this point, cos it's happened, it has happened. You look really today. stressed. <laughs> I, I really want my friends to win, Yeah. And, and Becky especially, because she has become a good friend, and I want her to win a lot of money. He's Mr Cool, you're Mr Stressed. I think you need a break. Thank you. Oh! Take one. back. If this box does not contain a quarter of a million pounds, does not contain a hundred thousand pounds, you are on to an incredible offer, Becky. We have never, ever had, on deal or no deal, this situation. It would be fantastic if now, Andy, you do not show us a hundred thousand and you do not show us a quarter of a million. Please, open box 14. Oh. Big one is still there. Still there. He's still going to go up, Becky. Still there, and the 75,000 is a fantastic safety net. 24,000 was what you turned down last time. And I think that decision gave you a problem. It did. Was it Nina that swung it? It was, actually, yeah. Cos Nina knows my dreams. <laughs> no pressure, then, no pre Nina? Yeah, no pressure, Nina. Keep smiling. <laughs> I wonder what Francesca and Lewis and your husband Graham are thinking at this moment. Graham's probably hiding under a pillar. Um, the children will just be thinking, sweet, so I can't... <laughs> and there's Mummy on the telly. Here he is.
go and get him now. <laughs> please? Oh, please, Mr Edmonds, please. I forgot my manners. My pleasure. Hello. How am I? <laughs> we are really, really enjoying your predicament, I tell you. Come on, quarter of a million sitting there. 75,000 is sitting there. A very reasonable safety net at 35,000. Five numbers below that that would cause her no pain whatsoever. The pain is with you. Uh-oh. We transported you straight into game tactic territory. I knew it. Yeah, here mm. we go. The trap. Mm -hmm. 20,000. He's dropped four. He's dropped four on the basis that you lost one number, the mm. second highest. You have to open three boxes if you do not accept a reduced offer. It's reduced it by 20%. It's quite a, quite a surprise there. Cheeky. Cheeky? I think it's worse than cheeky. I think it's malicious. <gasps> we always say he's wanting to buy the box for as little as possible. And we have never, ever had such a clear indication of that tactic. You still have a quarter of a million pounds. I know. Either in this box or somewhere, or somewhere out there. If you could avoid it, up, up, up it'll go. Mm-hmm. Gosh, Nina. <laughs> Nina, the reluctant friend. <laughs> hard now, isn't it? It is hard now, It is yeah. hard. I'm very helpfully going to say I, I don't know what to say, Becky. Me neither. No. <laughs> I'm speechless. Andy, what do you reckon? If you thought 24 was a good offer, it's only four grand less. I know. And 20 grand's still good. But Think I could about... have 250,000 in my box. Then it all comes down to you and your bottle. Don't get seduced. Oh, I'd love to be seduced. That would be nice. <laughs> God. Becky, there's one other element that we haven't reminded you about. Whatever you wrote in the book. Yeah. If we're over your personal target, why change it? Why change it simply because there's a very large sum of money on the board? God. Now it's hard. It is hard. It is it's hard. hard. Because that 20,000 is a, is a life changing amount of money to me. We all want you to make the right decision. And for yeah. me, the definition of the right decision is you feeling comfortable when you leave here. Well, if that 250,000 wasn't on there, I would, I would have took the money and run by now. But he wouldn't have offered me that sort of money in the first place. I'm kind of disappointed because I haven't got to talk to the banker. So the only way that's going to happen now is, uh, is to play on, but... Remember, the offer has already come down once. And it could come down again. On the other hand, you have a 25% chance of winning 75 grand or more. Becky, from Nuneaton. Becky, 
£20,000, deal or no deal? Deal. Thank you, Noel. It's for my children. Yeah. It always has to be the player's comfort. Yeah. Good. It is. That's comfortable for you with your children yeah. and your own yeah. aspirations. Yes. We'll look in the book in a moment yeah. and see exactly what you originally wrote. Yeah. But this is the moment where we find out did you deal too soon? Probably, but I don't care. Well, it does feel as no if regrets. you might have dealt a little too soon. Mm -hmm. We play on. This is what would have happened had you not accepted 20,000 for that box. How much money could you have won? First box. Number six. Number six. Chris, would you please open number six? Quarter of a million. One. Raj, number two. Raj, open it up, Raj. What's this going to be? 500. OK, that would not have been so bad. We would have, at this point, been talking about you lowering your aspirations, mm -hmm. not hitting the 75,000. But would you have hit the 75,000 with your next selection, which is? Number 19, Eddie. Number 19. Eddie, would you please open number 19? I hope it's big this time. Yeah, oh, absolutely. 3,000. So, at this stage, the 75,000 would still have been in play and we would have been agonising over where the offer was going to end up. Yes, you would have offered £14,000. £14,000. And would that have taken you below? You wanted fifteen thousand okay. pounds. You would have gone under. You would have gone under what you wanted. You dealt at exactly the right time. You dealt at the right time in terms of the way the game has exploded, and you dealt at the right time in terms of your own ambitions. That's clever. That's beating the banker. But now we want to find out. Where's the rest of the money? Yeah. Where is the rest of the money? Number 22, Jason. Jason, please, open 22. Yes! yes. <laughs> Next one. Uh, number eight, Mary Ann, number please. Eight. Number eight, Mary Ann, number eight, open box eight. One P. Oh. OK, you've still got one chance to prove just how good that deal was. Next one. Number 18. Kai, find us the 35 grand. Yes! yes! Thank, you. Thank you, God. <laughs> what an extraordinary game. And at that point in the game, that's what you would have been facing, having turned down £20,000, which is now safe. What would it have been? 400 quid. <laughs> we would have been talking about £400. A fraction, a fraction of what you said you wanted. We know, we know that for the third time we have had a situation where a player has rubbed the banker's nose in it. He has lost. And now this is just about finding how bad a deal yeah. he entered into. Can I open the box? Though? You can open the box, Good. by all means. It'll be the last box I open. I'll take, the, uh, I'll take the seal off it. And this is what you had in your box. I'm ecstatic. Excellent. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> and I'm really, really pleased for you as well. That has been a sensational game. You've taken us to a new place with the game. Nobody has ever had a board like that. We all felt maybe there was one more deal there, and I think you felt there could have been there another deal been, there. Yeah. But you yeah. did the wise thing for Becky from Nuneaton. Happy girl? I'm a very happy girl. Excellent. Yeah. 20,000. 20,000 pounds. <laughs> happy? I'm very happy. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Give my love to
to Mum. I will. I'll be round to see. <laughs> She's happy. They're happy. Because yet again, a player on Deal or No Deal has proved you can get your ambition. You can change your life. You can make the dreams come true. I know you're going to be there tomorrow. 4.15, I'll see you. Deal or No Deal.